Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the PUBG new state default graphics settings comparison between the Dimensity 920 from the Xiaomi 11i versus Snapdragon 778G from the Realme GT Master Edition. Let's see friends, what can be the maximum settings we can actually play PUBG new state and how will be the real-time FPS statistics as well. That's what I'm going to discuss in this video. So first, let me to open, show you the graphics settings in the Snapdragon 778G processor. So here's the graphics settings and I'll let you select the maximum, I mean uh, highest frame rates and quality set to the ultra quality as well. You can actually choose pretty much highest levels as well in the Snapdragon 778G processor. And let me to enable the real-time FPS meter. And in real-time FPS meter, we will be able to get around uh, 60 FPS in the Snapdragon 778G. Let's check out in the Dimensity 920 what will be the highest graphics you can actually play around. Let me to go to the graphics. And let me just select the maximum frame rates and highest ultra quality. Yes, you can actually do that. Maximum frame rates and ultra quality you can actually device without any kind of problem. And I did enable that. So let me to click uh, ultra and click, click save. So settings got saved and let me to start the match. Right now I'll try to show you friends exactly what is the maximum FPS you can actually get between these both phones. And 60 FPS I'm getting in the Snapdragon 778G processor. And in the Dimension 920 chipset, I'm getting about 47 FPS. 45 and 47, as you can clearly see what's going on. Forty five FPS I'm getting. Let me go to the graphics settings and show you what's happening here with the graphics. So I did try to select the maximum, I mean highest FPS and ultra graphics, but I'm getting still only 47 and 49 but in the snapdragon 778g processor i'm getting 60 fps in the snapdragon 778g processor as you can definitely see friends the difference between these two processors how much it is so most of the time the snapdragon 778g processor is slightly kind of optimized than this uh, dimensity 920 chipset that's something you should definitely understand so right now we'll try to observe exactly the drop test, what's happening. So 60 FPS it was able to maintain pretty good in the Snapdragon 778G processor. But in the Dimensity 920 chipset it was unable to maintain. So we're getting only 47 and 46, that's it. As you can see exact FPS drop test which I'm trying to do. So this is something you should definitely understand friends regarding the graphics. So you can actually play with 60 FPS in the Snapdragon 778G processor. But not in the Dimensity 920 chipset. So this is a kind of quick comparison, so which might give the clear idea and clear picture what's going on. And same settings, same settings I'm trying to use between these both phones and it feels really smooth in the Snapdragon 778G processor. And right now you can see I'm getting 44 FPS, that's it, 44, 42 FPS. You can clearly see friends. So still I'm getting only 44 FPS. So this is a quick comparison friends between the default graphic settings what's happening. Uh, so I thought of just giving you a quick, clear idea what's going on between the Snapdragon 8, Snapdragon 778G and uh, Dimensity 920 processor. So I did try to upload a lot of other videos as well regarding the Call of Duty and other games regarding the default graphic settings. So make sure to check out those videos in case if you are interested in more videos as well. And this is a quick comparison friends. Default graphic settings and 60 FPS I was able to maintain pretty good in the Snapdragon 778G processor. So thank you for watching and see in the next video on illustrative more updates and meanwhile signing off until then. Bye.